Okay, let's take a look at this problem. So m is the portion of the plane where 2x plus 3y minus 6z equals 4, and x is between 0 and 1, z is between x and 1. Okay, parametrize m, calculate ds, and give an integral for the surface area of m. And we don't need to worry about actually calculating the integral. We just want to set it up. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is parametrize m. Well, I can tell that I'm looking something, looking at something in the xz plane because I'm given intervals for x and z, but nothing for y. So to parametrize m, first I want to solve the equation of the plane for y. Okay, so I'm sure you guys can do this yourself. Um, so y equals 4 thirds minus 2 thirds x plus 2z, right? Move everything to the other side and divide by 3. So the parametrization of m is going to be x, the function of x and z, and z. So let me write that out. So I have one function for each variable, x, y, and z. And then I've just rewritten z as a function of x, and I've rewritten y as a function of x and z. So the first part of the question is done. So now I want to calculate ds. Well, to start, I'm going to want to find the two partial derivatives of this parametrization with respect to x and with respect to z. So I'm going to call this r of x and z. Now let's find r sub x. Well, the derivative of x is going to be 1. 4 thirds and 2z are going to be treated like a constant, so they're both going to be 0. And the derivative of negative 2 thirds x is negative 2 thirds. And z is going to become 0. Now let's find rz. Well, like before, x is like a constant, so that becomes 0. 4 thirds minus 2 thirds x also is going to become 0, and then I'm going to be left with 2 from the 2z. And then the derivative of z is going to be 1. All right, now I want to find the cross product of these two vectors. I'm going to use a matrix. So i, j, and k in the first row. And then Rx and Rz. Okay, so I'm going to kind of do like a cofactor expansion. So let's do i first. I'm looking at negative 2 thirds times 1 minus 0. So negative 2 thirds for i. Let's do j. So cut out the middle column. 1 times 1 minus 0. And let's do k. So cut out the third column. 1 times 2 minus 0. So 2. Now ds is going to be the magnitude of this cross product times dx and dz. So let's go ahead and find that magnitude. So I'm going to have the square root of each of the terms squared. So negative 2 thirds becomes 4 ninths. 1, 
obviously it's still one. And two squared gives me four. Okay, so you could put these in your calculator. I'm gonna go ahead and add them up. So, so one is like nine ninths. And four is like 36 ninths. So, I've got the square root of 49 over nine, which is going to be seven thirds. So DS will be seven thirds DX DZ. So that's the second part. And let's give an integral for the surface area of M. I'm going to cut out some of this. Well, I know I can find the surface area of M by integrating DS over M. So let's go ahead and write DS in as our integrand. It's a bad seven. And then I just need to write bounds of integration. And they're actually given to me in the problem. So x between 0 and 1 and z between x and 1. So I'm going to want to integrate with respect to z first because one of the bounds is a function of x. So let me switch these. And then I can say that I want to integrate z from x to 1 and that I want to integrate x from 0 to 1. So this integral represents the surface area of m. And we finished the third part of the problem. So we're done.